Okay, so uh, this display module um, for the iPad 3 LCD just arrived. Um, and we have, uh, I tested it with 5 volt power with a power bank quickly just to see if it would power up, and it did. So now I have 5 volt power going to the computer via this USB lead, which I bought for 80 cents off AliExpress separately. The, um, this power module doesn't come with a power lead, which power module. A uh, display module doesn't come with a power lead, which is fine. It's a dis and, and Anyways, um, and then we have an HDMI going here, and I haven't tested this yet um, with the HDMI. I just tested it, then it would come on, and it did, and it came on and said no signal. Um, so we just plugged in the um, power there. The display just went on and said no signal, because it's getting power from the 5-volt standby rail of the PSU now, which is where the USB is connected up to. Um, and if we power on the computer, you can see the fan start spinning. Sound card turns on, and we get Gigabyte and Sysdot Ultra Durable. So, so far, so good. Now we're at the Hackintosh boot select screen. I'm going to go grab a keyboard and mouse and come back. One sec. Really long USB extension cables never hurt anyone. Um, it's going all the way up to here, and I can't even see the display. So let's see what option is selected. Yep, that's right. So if we hit enter, then, okay, it's booting. This is ridiculous. I don't know where my wireless keyboard and mouse is, though, so we're just doing it this way. Okay, it's booting. Hopefully, Mac OS supports this weird resolution that Apple uses on their iPads. It probably does on a real Mac, but who knows if it will on this. Yeah, I love awful squished images. So squished. Just the most squished. All the way squished. It's awful. It's awful. And I need a wireless keyboard and mouse. But at least we see it kind of work. So this is the idea. We get this display, which will fit pretty well in here. Um, in, in, you know, here. Um, we have the module which I probably will just use 5-volt power on because that's convenient. I can just nip that off of anywhere, nip it off of a Molex, keep it powered off USB, whatever, you know. Um, and I really don't want to blow it up by trying 12-volt power, which was my original plan, but I think you'd go 5-volt first because that's less likely to blow it up. And we're getting feedback from the audio. Um... But we're gonna, I, I'm gonna go get my wireless keyboard and mouse and try this out. I just wanted to film this so I would have something to put online because I know I haven't done anything on this in a while because I was waiting for this display module to get here, which took forever because it got lost in the mail and it took them a while to find it. Though they did find it in the end, which is good. Uh, it just took twice as long as it needed to. Um, so that's... For now, with Hackintosh SE. And, uh, unless I come back with the keyboard and mouse to show that I... I might come back and actually show if I can get this uh, display scaling correct. But, anyways, that's all for now.